A, another commentary done by Diggity. I'm going to do a color swap on this one. Upper right-hand corner, we have Masucci starting as the blue Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the red Zerg, which means neither player is going to end up with the er early Overlord Scout advantage, and it is cross-map spawn, which could play as a disadvantage for early pool openers, which Rancor has fielded, I think, a little bit more often than Masucci in these matches thus far. Has opted more for the nine pools and then quick layer. Masucci up 3-1 in this series, or I should say in this particular set. So we'll see how, we'll see if he's able to clear it out overall. But yeah, it's been, I've been very pleased with this set overall. I just want to say that I'm pleased as punch and I'm glad you guys are along for the, for the journey in Fighting Spirit Mania for those who've been, I'm wondering if anybody has been dedicated to watching all of the series Revolution Viewer has a bunch of them as well, so be sure if you really want to be the... This is kind of like the, the masochistic viewer side of StarCraft. Like, if you want to be on the masochistic viewing side of StarCraft, go check out Revolution Viewer's... Uh, and this, this isn't an insult to Revolution Viewer, it's just if you want to see all of Fighting Spirit, like front end, just the sheer slog of all of the games that got commentated. Actually, I guess to be a true viewer, quote unquote, what you should do is you should download all the replays. Because I think there are full replay packs and like view every single replay. You know how long it would take to commentate all of that? You know how many hours of actual StarCraft have gone into this tournament already? Looks like we're seeing, uh, I think this is an overpool here. Uh, in base 12 hatch for Rancor, or 11 hatch actually for Rancor. I think this is going to pay off for him. But anyway, so point being, if you want to be like, I'm a true fan and true fandoms watch all the games. So as far as the games that were officially casted, Revolution Veer's out there, check him out as well. Uh, and if you want to see all of them, I guess you could ask for the replays and just watch all of the games. Seven sets of seven as far as the ones that are available. So anyway, I feel like there's a bit of equity, right? Where it's like the caster's got to cast, the player's got to play. We're going to go through all this thing together and show our fighting spirit. And then Microsoft's going to be like, what the hell are you guys even doing out here? Like, this is supposed to impress. Anyway, hopefully they'll see the hardcore dedicated. Hopefully, actually, what I hope happens is they look at Korea and they're like, okay. This can happen. Anyway, Masuchi grabbing expansion. In the meantime, spawning pool and extractor being built. Masuchi, I think this is going to give an advantage to Masuchi overall because he will have access to this natural expansion. In short term, though, it depends. I think Rancor might be opting for a Zergling Flood. Usually when you see in base 12 or 11, any in base hatchery build, you're thinking about going for just aggressive Zerglings across the board. You want to just overwhelm with Zerglings. And right now, actually, with a lack of Overlord Scout, might pay off. What will be a big indicator on this is whether Rancor moves these drones off gas once he hits. If he's thinking about still going layer after that. No, he's going layer first. So he went for the in-base 12 hatch. He's going to get, uh, at least briefly, a superior larva count. I think Masuchi's going to be in a fine position to go ahead and defend this. Is somehow up a drone in the midst of this. The Zergling's holding the line upon seeing this Zergling coming across the field. Almost able to get through, but does get picked off. I don't know if the creep to this corner is going to be an indicator for him. Didn't get a lot of additional information, but layer morphing, no Zergling speed, and playing from here. In the meantime, Masuchi has his natural expansion up, is just sitting at 12. He's gone layer himself, is moving a lot of Zerglings across the field, thinking that this is... This might be... I'm not sure if this is going to be disastrous for Masuchi or not. Because he's thinking, okay, I've got a hatchery advantage. I can just press this and push through. Trying to get up the ramp. Plenty of Zerglings there though, and Rancor able to decimate those Zergling lines. Five Zerglings remaining, two additional Zerglings coming up. I don't, they're not, oh, nice little pocket. A step back to create perfect concavity for, so four Zerglings could attack one. Brutal. This Overlord, finally the natural expansion. Now additional Zerglings being built from Masuchi, and the Spire already being plopped along the way. Rancor with a huge grouping of Zerglings. Because he can just, I think he can just hold here. We'll see. Spire, just about dead even from both players. Zergling speed is being upgraded behind this. No Zerglings at the natural, or sorry, no, drones at the natural expansion for Masuchi, but the overall drone count dead even now. Masuchi behind in supply after that last exchange. A couple Zerglings being pocketed back here. This Overlord sneaking forward, and as the Overlord sneaking forward, Rancor actually pushing down the ramp. And that is going to be in line with Zergling Speed finishing. Spire about halfway finished. So he's now attacking. 
for, which is forcing a lot of Zerglings to be built from Masuchi. Currently behind in supply, it is cross-map spawn, so it's a long distance to travel. But supply about even. And we'll see if this turns into a disaster for... No, Rancor is just going to go ahead and back up. He does have a handful of Zerglings here on the lower ramp. Just holding the line. Spire about to finish on both sides. And now it kind of shifts. If And actually, Drone's not mining. So that's a bit of delayed mining time as well. More Zerglings coming across. Is this a... So Mutalus being produced here. Is Rancor just going to go for it with Zerglings? Two drones at the natural expansion now mining. A single Zergling kind of testing there and now backing out. Looks like Masuchi does have Zergling speed himself. Big supply lead for Rancor. Mutalus being created. Now, this could be engaging. And it looks like he might come ahead in the Zergling micro battle at the natural expansion. Drone's certainly going to get picked off there, but the Mutalisks have now been fielded. But if these Zerglings can create a long enough delay, these Mutalisks might be able to just straight up get into the main. Looks like they are flooding across the field. That's four Mutalisks over here, plus the disrupted mining time. More drones being picked off. And Rancor, even though he's lost the Zerglings here, he's working on those Overlords, but he produced a slew of Zerg of trying to produce Scourge. This or Oh, okay. Rancor is going to take... Honestly, I almost wonder if that was going to be a game winner right there. I think it's still a game-winning maneuver. Because Masuchi is... Uh, Rancor's in the red. Masuchi's not in the red just because he lost so much in the meantime. Additional Zerglings being produced. Six Mutalisks in the air. And Rancor now moving out to be aggressive. He's going to go for... He's not bothering with armor this time. Which is good. But with those Zerglings that have been wiped out, that is giving some room to have some supply to get some additional Mutalisks out for Masuchi. So he has some room, but I think he has to rely on Rancor to fumble in order to pull out this match. The Mutalist now moving forward, engaging. Some nice micro. The Scourge going up to regroup. I don't think Rancor... Yeah, he's not even going to bother to micro this. Upon seeing just two Mutalists to the natural expansion. One being picked off, one just spawning. The Zerglings pulling out briefly. The Zerglings look like they were able to counter, so they're going to run to the natural expansion. However, drones getting obliterated... On Masuchi's side of the map, this Mutal is getting wiped out. A single Zerg, so just two drones left. These Zerglings might be able to even things up. Some Zerglings being produced on the opposite side. The drones trying to defend. So as long as Rancor can keep drones alive here, he will win. And there, Masuchi calling GG, realizing that the odds of doing that, very low. Well played by Rancor. Now it is going to be two to three in this series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Fun, fun set back and forth. Thanks for listening.